Lesson 11. Motion and its types. There are different objects in our surrounding. They are in the states of motion or rest. The objects do not change their position of motion or rest by themselves. Rest and motion. Sometimes we wait for our friends at the bus stop. We sleep at night. We sit on the bench of classroom. In such cases we don't change our position with respect to the surrounding. We are in the state of rest. So, a body is said to be at rest if it does not change its position with respect to its surrounding. Types of motion. All the objects do not have same type of motion. Mainly there are two types of motion. They are, linear motion and curvilinear motion. 1. Linear motion. The motion in which an object moves in straight line is called linear motion. It is also called translatory motion. Examples, a bullet fired from a gun, a boy sliding down a slope, a ball rolling on ground, etc. 2. Curvilinear motion. The motion in which an object does not move in straight line and it changes the direction of motion is called curvilinear motion. There are different types of curvilinear motion. A. Circular motion. B. Rotatory motion. C. Oscillatory motion. D. Random motion. E. Spiral motion. F. Vibratory motion. Force. A body cannot change its position itself. If you want to change the position, you have to apply the force. On pushing or pulling the object, it changes its position. Force is an external agent which changes or tends to change the position of body. Measurement of force and its unit. Force is a physical quantity that can be measured. The SI unit of force is the Newton and its symbol is an. The force by which the Earth attracts an object of mass 1 kg is called 1 kg force. Effects of force. Force can move a body at rest or can change the speed of moving body or can change the direction of a moving body. For example, a stone is thrown vertically upwards. A. A force can change the position state of a body. Why does a football move away on the ground when you kick it? It moves because you have applied force on it. B. A force can change the speed of a moving body. When you are pedaling a bicycle, someone pushes you from behind. C. A force can change the direction of moving body. What happens when you hit a moving cricket ball with your bat? The direction of the ball changes. D. A force can change the shape and size of a body. Take sponges and press it. The shape of the sponge changes on pressing. Thus a force changes the size and shape, dimension, of the body. Transformation of force. We apply force to do various types of work in our daily life. We use different mechanical devices to do our work. They need energy for that we have to apply the force. For example, sickle, axe, knife, etc. The process of transferring force from one point to another is called transformation of force. Simple machines. Different kinds of work such as lifting a bucket full of water from a well, moving heavy objects, opening a lid of a tin can, etc. are done in our daily life. Some works are done easily by hands, while others need the use of devices or instruments. Advantages of simple machines A simple machine is used because it helps us to do different works easily and conveniently. The simple machines have mainly the following advantages. 1. A simple machine multiplies the force and it makes our work easier. 2. A simple machine changes the direction of applied force. 3. A simple machine increases the speed of doing work. 4. A simple machine supports in doing unsafe and dangerous jobs. Types of machine. According to the structure and the principle of working, simple machines are classified into six types. 1. Lever. 2. Pulley. 3. Wheel and axle. 4. Inclined plane. 5. Screw. 6. Wedge. 1. Lever. A lever is a rigid bar, straight or curved, which is free to turn about a fulcrum. 2. Pulley. Pulley is a metallic or wooden circular disc, which is groove along its circumference over which a rope can pass easily. 3. Wheel and axle. 
The wheel and axle is very common in many types of machinery in everyday life. For example, the steering wheel of a car, the handles of sewing machine. 4. Inclined plane. A sloping surface along which a heavy load can be pushed up with less effort is called an inclined plane. 5. Screw. The screw is a simple machine formed by rolling up the inclined plane. 6. Wedge. Any sharp instrument which helps us to cut the things is called wedge. It is a simple machine with a triangular shape, which is used to split an object.